Matt here. So I just want to show you guys basically um, some cool functionality I've discovered using the new GPT-4. It comes packaged in if you have a ChatGPT Plus membership. So check this out. ChatGPT is actually pretty good at making its own games. Um, so look, look at this. Uh, write me a version of Pong. So it says, as an AI language model, I can create a fully functional game directly within this text response. I cannot create it. However, I can provide you an example of a simple Pong game using Python in the Pygame library. To run this library, make sure you have the Python and Pygame. Make sure you have Python and Pygame installed on your computer. So let's just take a quick look at what it's producing. Import Pygame, it seems to be setting constants now. And um, check this out. So it's still generating. So right here, if you get it, it gets a quit signal, I'm not sure what key that's on to, it'll exit the game. So apparently, W and S is how you control the left pa panel. From here, what I can see, and up and down is how you control the right panel. Okay. Here it's handling ball collision cases. even adding comments, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so let's see, copying this code. Let's go into my library and call it pong.py. Copy and paste the code. All I asked was for it to make me a version of pong, a simple version of pong. And as you can see, it literally created the game from scratch. Um, all right, so it's, and now it's restarting. Impressive, right? This is actually really impressive. Um, now let's just like see if we can do things. Uh, can you change the game above such that the ball changes color every time it was hit. Let's see if it's able to do that. It seems pretty confident in its response. Interesting, okay, everything, let's just see. Everything seems the same so far, except it's also declaring the ball color. Well, previously it wasn't. You can see it declaring the ball color right here, the RGB value.
pretty sure this will be able to do it. I have another idea after this, so check it out. I'm curious to see if it'll be able to do this successfully. Let's go create a new file, call it Pong Changing Ball Color. Pong Color Ball dot pi. Paste that in there. Interesting. So the ball does not seem to be changing color which is extremely curious to me. Okay, so what, that's actually not very impressive though. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We try something else then. Create a version of Pong where the ball moves faster every time it has been hit. Only slightly faster. Uh, oh well, wow. so it still is doing the random color thing. Wait one second. All the collide direct left battle of all. Okay. So it seems right here to be increasing the ball speed by a factor of 1.1. 1 .1 every time a collision happens. Interesting. But it's increasing it by 1.1 1 .1 and then 1.1 1 .1 in X coordinate and Y coordinate. So that means that the actual, if it gets 0.1 faster in each direction, the X and Y direction, let's see, Wolfram alpha.com.
So I guess if the ball is going horizontal, interesting. We'll see how this plays out. The ball is going horizontal or vertical. It should only be getting 0.1 times faster. Let's see if this works. Call it feed pong py. I'm not sure if it's actually getting faster, but the strange thing is the ball color changing is happening. But is the ball actually moving faster? One second. Wait a second. So I don't think I was actually running the correct program last time because the ball is changing correctly. I guess that was just some, I think it's because I was pressing, it was just running the same program. But one second, let me see something real quick. No, it's definitely getting faster. And every time the game restarts, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, no, it's definitely getting faster. It's working for sure. And the balls are, and the ball colors are changing. Yeah, my bad, guys. Last time, I think I was just running the same Pong program it wrote the first time. Without, and not running the new program I created. Wow, okay, you see? Um, so here we have an example of uh, GPT-4 basically being able to create its own Pong game and then able to iterate on that Pong game depending on um, what settings were chosen. So it was able to do the first thing, which originally I thought wasn't able to do, my bad, um, where it was able to change the ball color every time the, the ball was hit. and then. Afterwards, I said to add a difficulty dynamic, I told it to make the ball go faster every time it was being hit, which was pretty easy to do. It got to the point where the ball was almost impossible to hit. So um, feel free to test this functionality out, guys. I'm extremely impressed and as a software engineer, almost even kind of worried at how capable GPT-4 is at writing its own code. I think um, the group that will be most affected by this right now are software engineers. And I think the days of software engineers, just even like low end to mid end software engineers showing up to work and collecting six figure paychecks are about to come to an end. It's going to get to a point where engineers are going to have to be able to use AI uh, effectively. And it may have the net effect of reducing the amount of engineers that work in the field significantly. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. And 
If you have any ideas on future things you want me to test out on GPT-4, please let me know in the comments. We'll talk to you guys soon.